Good afternoon. Uh, Granite Jacker missed last weekend. Um, Mesut Ozil has missed both of your Premier League matches so far. Are they going to be OK this weekend? Tomorrow is the last time we're going to decide tomorrow. What's your gut feeling tonight? Mm, today they're trying, uh, but really I need uh, tomorrow uh, to have the last training, uh, to be uh, ready how we can be better there. And uh, I know some players need to fit, to be fit, and to improve uh, 100%, uh, some 100% for, for to be in, the, in their best fit. fit. But uh, tomorrow is the day. Uh, really, I am positive with, with uh, some players for, for Saturday, but uh, I, don't, I don't want to, uh, to decide today or to say to you today how we are, because really tomorrow can change. Has Mesut fully recovered from the, the illness now? And, and if he is back, what, what does he bring to the team? Really, uh, I think he needs to be fit. And, uh, and also he's training with a normal, normal with the team, and I think it's the first, the first way to, to, to achieve that fit, and uh, after uh, to help us with his capacity. What do you think we will learn about Arsenal this weekend? You've won your opening two matches, now you play Liverpool. We're, we're really, we are in, in, in a very good position, but only we play it to two matches in the Premier League, uh, we are going to play 38 totally. But uh, really to be in this moment with the possibility on Saturday uh, to achieve the first position was amazing, and a very big opportunity. Uh, we know it's, uh, it's at the beginning, but uh, really we can be positive, we can be optimistic for that match and, and really, really this, wishing to play, uh, wishing to show our, 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 our moment against, against them. But uh, no win is going to be difficult. That match is going to be difficult away in 38 matches. But uh, it's a very big challenge, uh, a very big opportunity for us to do something. How do you ensure that what happened last season at Anfield, when you were one 0 up and lost five one, how do you ensure that doesn't happen again? Each each match, each moment, each season is different, and. We can we can use uh, last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, but really is uh, our moment and this moment. And Anfield is uh, a big atmosphere with the supporter. They are very good team. Uh, they have advantage for 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 us in, in their progress and in their moment uh, the last years. And uh, really in Anfield, they 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 have one step more. Uh, being or, or feeling strong, but it's not for us, it's for, for all. And uh, we need uh, to, to take our best performance, uh, to go there uh, with good feeling and also uh, thinking we can achieve uh, that performance individually and collectively to be strong for, uh, to have our, our, our chances. And uh, we are looking forward to go there and to, to show that. What do you ask about Matteo Guendouzi? He's been at the club one season now. There's a suggestion that the club want to get him on a, a long-term contract. How, how impressed have you been with him as a player and how he's developed in just over a year? We have a lot of young players and uh, they can develop uh, a lot. We are going to help them, to, to push them. And also they need to, to break uh, different levels and, uh, and to achieve individually uh, their, their performance. But we are here for help them and to give them chances. And Matteo, he's very young, but uh, he has talent. And this talent is also to adapt uh, what we need, what we need in, in the Premier League. It's also physically to be strong. And we are working tactically, we are working individually to, to improve with the hair. We are working, we are working with him also. Uh, a lot of on, on videos, a lot of on the, on the pitch and speaking with him because uh, it's a big challenge for, for me and also for our, our coaches and for him uh, to achieve uh, a big level here. And he's in this process, but it's one process. Last year for me is, is very good his, his process, but uh, miss a lot uh, with him to, to achieve in his career uh, the, the big performance and, 
and the big moment for for him and for help us. But uh, really, really, I am very, very uh, optimis optimistic with him because he has uh, this talent, and I think we can improve also on other things like physically. We are working in the, on the on the gene, also his mentality. But really, really. Uh, he's a potential young player now with uh, with possibly can help us uh, achieve the best the best uh, the best performance we're only a couple of weeks into the new season but there have been incidents of uh, abuse players receiving abuse on on social media uh, do the do the platforms like twitter and facebook do, do they have to take a greater responsibility i have because uh, it's, it's important to be closer to, to our supporters, to, to the people, to, to give them information, individual and, and collective information from, from me, from the club, from, and to be closer to them. But uh, also the social media, if you, if you don't control, if you don't use positive, I think can be, can be uh, negative. And uh, uh, I only use when I think it's can can give me some good information and can give can help me in some opinion, but really, really when we we or every people cannot control uh, the social media, I think is not is not positive for us. And I want to just ask you about VAR. We've seen it in two matches now. For me, VAR. For me, VAR is positive. For me, VAR is positive. Is coming helping us helping the, the referees and, and, and be far in different circumstances in one game. After this, and I, I think it's also right to, to think like that, is not to stop uh, the intensity, not to stop the rhythm in the, in the matches and not to stop a lot of minutes. But uh, at the moment, sometimes it's going to be positive for us, sometimes it's going to be negative, but really, really now, uh, in my mind, is is positive for for everybody, for every teams, for the Premier League. Help them, and is uh, sometimes is is giving helping us, sometimes is is not helping us, but is far. Question in the back. Uh, Unai, how, how pleased are you with the way Pepe has settled down to life here at Arsenal? I understand you have taken a keen interest, personal interest, in also helping him to adapt to life here in England on and off the field to the extent of you know encouraging him to learn the English language quite early on. Yes, really the most important is uh, like a person help him to feel here comfortable and his family. And after uh, he is now three weeks working with us and he didn't do with us the precision, but he's progressively feeling better. And the example is also uh, the first match, uh, the first 15 minutes in Newcastle after the first 45 minutes uh, against, against Barley. And I think he's progressively uh, getting better performance individual and, and feeling better. And uh, I think for Sousatu, he's ready also, maybe to, to have more minutes. And uh, I am going to decide tomorrow, but uh, really his progress is being positive, is being good for, for the team, for him. And the most important, that adaptation be easy. Uh, we can help him to be easy or to achieve easy for to, to help us and to be comfortable with us.